So today we're going to create the database for our project. So the first thing we need to decide with is the authentication. As you can see here, I already have the code igniter inauth um, authentication library open. Uh, and I decided to go with uh, with inauth because I don't think there's, that's a good idea to make your own authentication system. Um, it's risky. Uh, you'll probably uh, end up making a bad decision somewhere and you're just creating a problem for yourself later. So what I normally do is I use uh, an auth system that has been used by the community and that receives updates uh, regularly. Uh, and that's what we are going to do first. We need to install the alt system first so we can have the tables in our database that they uh, are going to be created for the authentication system and after that then we can uh, start building the database around it since we already have um, a project with composer here uh, we need to basically copy the following lines here oh sorry i'm in the wrong folder we just copy and paste these uh, lines here so you can add it to your project okay and then you do composer required and this will install the library into your project and then after that i'm just going into my docker folder and I'm gonna um, start the Docker uh, containers using Docker Compose. You do Docker Compose up build minus D and use your password. So both containers are running, so that's good. And now I'm gonna open my program that I used to manage my database, and that is data grip you can use whatever you like this is just the one i use i already have a connection uh, done to docker here that i use on every project and i already have the database here but it's empty so the first thing we need to do is run an sql script so we'll go into the ben admins um, package and we run this SQL script here okay so now I have my base structure and I can show you the diagram for it and explain it so you have your users this will be the ones that will logged in into our contact system uh, each user will have one or more group assigned to it and the login attempts will be uh, stored in the login attempts table so this is just what we we need for the authentication system but now we we need to create um, quite a lot more tables uh, around this uh, the first thing uh, i like to to do is prefix my tables um, with the context of what they do so since this is my auth system normally what i do is i modify all the tables that come from inauth and call them au something so what this means is now if i'm looking for the auth model i can just i have them all grouped in in the place so i i'll, I'll don't don't have other tables mixing up with my authentication system when i look for them okay and that's done uh, a new table and let's call it CC contacts. So all our um, 
ta all the tables that will relate to the contacts uh, will have the prefix cc. Uh, once again, this is something that I normally do. You don't have to do it, but this is something that I found that uh, helped me with my projects. So we'll need a primary key. That will be not null primary key and auto increment. And as you can see, I can see the SQL that is being generated down here. So the content will have a first name. That's a Varsha, let's say 200. Not null. We'll have a last name. Again, Varsha 200 not null. Actually, let's make this one null. Then you'll have an email address. You'll have a phone number. And let's make this a Varshar as well. And phone numbers here are normally nine digits. Uh, so let's put it at nine. Actually, I'm going to store it with spaces and all that. So let's, let's use 12. Okay. Now let's use a cell phone. Same thing, Varshar 12. Then you have the address. And let's say this one, tiny text. Then let's have sex, and this will have will be. Let's use enum for this one, and this will be female or male, and default will be null. Okay. Uh, then we'll had uh, created at so we'll know when the contact was created and an updated at so we actually know when it was updated as well okay so let's also add some notes and this will be text and will be there uh, what else can we add there we have email phone cell phone first name last name nah, I think that's it okay but the the other thing we need is we need to know from which user this contact is so let's create a user ID. Let's put it on the second column. So this needs to be int unsigned. And will be not null as well. And now we can create the foreign key. So how users user ID. The target table is how users and we need to add the column as well oops we need to add the column as well so user id to id and execute and now we have so if we check the diagram now now we have contacts that are connected to a user Okay, that's good. But there's more that we need. We actually need users. Uh, I'm going to, um, I want to add tags to the users. So let's create another table. And let's call it CC tags. And this will have an ID as well. Auto increment, not new, primary key. And each tag will have a name. Char 
to 100 okay we'll have also a created at timestamp not null and an updated at timestamp okay same thing but this will also be connected to a user not no or actually it doesn't need to be connected to the user it can be connected to the contacts and we'll know from there from which user so let's remove this and let's just leave it like that okay so execute and we have our tags but each contact will have more than one tag so let's create a new table and let's say that this is cc contacts tags okay so this will have uh, contact ID not null and this will have a tag ID not null as well and as for foreign keys this will have cc contacts contact ID and the target table would be cc contacts cascade and this is contact id to id that's all right and the same thing for the tags so cc tags tag id and this will be for tags cascade cascade and contact id in this case will be for tag id Okay, so we'll execute this and now let's look into our model again. So we'll have contacts, we'll have tags and we'll have another table that connects each content to uh, one or more tags. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're going to also add, um, let's say, files. Actually, in the contacts let's modify this and let's add another one saying avatar and this will be a varshar 50 okay execute okay and now we'll add another table called cc documents so we can add documents to uh, each contact. So each document will have an ID. That's not new, auto increment it is a primary key. They'll have, let's say, a label. Varshar 200. Actually, let's not call it, uh, let's call it label. And the label is not new as well. Then we'll have a file name, could be just name, Varshar 200 as well, this is not null as well. Then we'll say contact ID, not null, created at not null and updated at not null as well contact id will go to the second place and let's see at foreign keys we'll just add this to the contacts our contacts contact id target table cc contacts this will also be cascading and contact ID will go into ID okay 
so this is the sql and we run this and we have the content so let's check the diagram again so we have the users each user will have a group or more groups uh, each user will have their own contacts and they'll have each content will have one or more tags and each content will have uh, one or more documents so let me just explain uh, once again uh, what we're doing here so each user will have their own account they'll log in and after they log in uh, they'll have access to their own contacts and they can manage their contacts they can create new contents contacts and then delete them and but only their own contacts to each contact they can add documents so you'll have to manage file uploads and stuff like that and for each contact they'll have tags that can be useful for search so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, I now have a Patreon uh, page. So if you want to follow the, um, the series and want to support the channel in some way, uh, subscribing will be great. If you want to subscribe on, uh, if you want to help on any other way, uh, please be free to do so. And I'll see you on the next time.